So, hello and welcome to today's lesson. I'm Guido Kanrinov. I'm a final year student of mathematics at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. <coughs> so, we are studying topology one, and this happens to be our third lesson. So, today we'll be talking about open sets, closed sets, and clopping sets. So, um, don't please don't forget to like the video. <coughs> And please subscribe to the YouTube channel. So, we are going to start with what open sets are. So, let's take this definition. So, let this be a topological space. Then, the members of Tau are said to be open sets. Okay. So, note that in our first and second lessons, we talked about topological spaces and how to define a topology tau on x okay all right so we are saying that all members of our topology tau are said to be open sets so let's take an example to explain what we mean by that so in this example consider this set x where we have a topology tau defined on A to B, what we have here. So you can see we have tau here, and this happens to be the topology defined on X. Okay, so the question says, what are the open sets? So from our definition, it's very simple. All the members of tau are said to be the open sets. Okay, so as a result of this, in some books, when you are going through the definition of what a topology is or a topological space you'll be seeing open sets open sets because open sets are just members of the topology tau okay so the answer is that all members of tau are open sets so that is phi x e b a b okay so whenever we have a full set x when we define a topology tau on it then all the members of tau are said to be open sets okay i know this is very simple to understand so that's what open sets are and if we understand open sets then that will lead us to understand what closed sets are but before that we have some preposition here proposition so we have some terms that um in our subsequent videos we will prove them okay so these are three it says that if this is any topological space then the full set and the empty set are open sets the reason why the full set and the open i'm um, sorry and the empty set are always open or they are open set is because you know when we're defining what a topological space is we said three conditions had to be satisfied and the first of those conditions was that always the full set x and the empty set phi are members of tau so as a result of that they are always open sets okay then the union of any either finite or infinite number of open sets is an open set and the intersection of any finite number of open sets is an open set so we will learn the proof to we we'll go through the proofs to this later okay then we understand them very well so now let's move on to what closed sets are okay <coughs> so let this be a topological space a subset s of x right is said to be a closed set if it complement in x namely what you can see here is open in as the pair s tau so just look at the definition and try to reason along with what it says okay but don't worry it's not bad if you don't get it at once we are going to solve one or two questions which will help make everything clearer okay so in simple terms what we are trying to say is that if a is a closed set then it complement 
S minus A is an open set, okay? If A is a closed set, then it complements which is given by S minus A is an open set. So let's take an example to make things clearer, as I said. So we have a set X and we have a topology tau defined on it. And the question says we should find all the closed sets. Okay, so before that, let me ask you, what are the open sets here? So I hope you know that the open sets here are all the elements of tau here. So they are all open sets, okay? Right, so to find a closed set is very simple. So recall from the definition of a closed set that a set A is closed if it complements S minus A is an open set. Being an open set means it can be found in what? Tau. So step one is that first of all, let's get all our open sets in tau. So this tau here, all the open sets that we have are what we can see here. <clears throat> so now that we have our open sets, to get a closed set of each open set, we just have to find a complement, okay? And the complement is giving us S minus A. So when you have the empty set, the complement of the empty set is the full set because the full set X minus the empty set is going to give us the full set. So that means the complement of this is the full set. Then when it comes to the, the full set, the complement of the full set is the empty set, okay? Because the full set minus itself will always give you the empty set. Then when it comes to our set E, right? So the full set X is giving us A, B, C. So when you take A from it, then you are going to get B, C. So that means the complement of the set A is the set B, C. The complement of B is A, C. The complement of A, B is the set C. Hope you can see that. So that means that these that we see here, these sets that we see here, are the closed sets so the reason why they are the closed sets is that they are complements is found in a topological space tau or they are open sets because when you find a complement of this you get this which is open when you find a complement of this you get this which is open okay so actually that's how you find closed sets very simple to understand okay so hence the closed sets are these they are these, okay. Then let's take a second example. So it says consider the topology tau defined on X. So we have X to be A, B, C, D, E. And we have tau that the topology defined on E to be phi, X, A, C, A, C, B, C, D, E. Okay. Then it says which of the following sets are um, the closed sets. Okay. So which of these sets are closed sets? So now let's take the first set, B, C, okay? So for this to be closed, that means that the complement of it, that is S minus it, okay? So because it is B, C, should give us something which is in tau, okay? So now let's see. Our X is A, B, C, D, E. So when we take B, C from this set here, we are going to get A, D, and E. Then we ask ourselves, this final result that we are getting here, can it be found here? So we can see the answer is no. So that means that this is not closed. So now we come to the second one. For it to be closed, when we take... these sets from x we are supposed to get something which is in tau so when you take no this is x a b c d e don't forget that when we take b c d e from it you are going to get a and you could see we have a here a is final topological space tau so it's fine in tau so that means that 
this particular set b c d e is closed it's a closed set okay then let's come to this one to this one we have a b d e so when we take it from x we are going to get c and c is found here right so it's found in tau so that means this is also a closed set then when it comes here we have abc when we take abc from x that's the complement of it you are going to get de and de is not found here okay so that means this is also not closed i hope you understand Right, that's cool so that's how we get closed sets and you know open set is very simple and we have some <coughs> proposition here we say that the empty sets and the full sets are always closed the reason why they are always closed is because the complement of the empty set is the full set x which is always found out topological space and the complement of the full set x is the empty set phi which is always found now topological space okay <clears throat> then we have these two it says the intersection of any either finite or infinite number of closed sets is a closed set in the union of any finite number of closed sets is also a closed set so we are going to go through the proof for this to later okay just as with the open set so now we talk about our last um concept which is clopping sets okay so as the name says clopping so a set which is closed and which is also open okay so let's take a definition so a subset s of a topological space is said to be cloping if it is both open and closed so if it is both open and closed so we know what open sets are and we know what closed sets are so when you have a particular set which is closed and open at the same time then it is cloping okay we are going to go through some examples and you realize that it's very simple to comprehend okay so let's take an example we have s to be the full set s to be abc and we have a topology tau defined on s to be phi x then ac ac and bc okay so <clears throat> we are supposed to find all the cloping sets okay so the first condition is that before you can be cloping you have to be open then when you are open you also have to be closed then you are cloping so that means it is one of these one of these here or it's not one of these some of these here which will be cloping because cloping is both open and closed so now let's get our open sets here <clears throat> so our open sets here we have phi we have x we have a we have the set c we have ac and we have bc <coughs> so we know that the complement of phi is the full set x so we th these are the closed sets so we are getting the closed sets then the complement of x is the empty set phi then the complement of e is just giving us x so x is a b c so x minus a which is b c <coughs> then the complement of c will be when you take c from x you are going to get what a b then the complement of a c when you take a c from x you are going to get b then the complement of b c Will give us a okay so that means that our closed sets here our closed sets are the empty set the full set x our bc here our ab our b and finally our a okay so these are the closed sets then these are the open sets all the elements here so when you can see we can see that <coughs> the empty set phi is closed and what's open because it can also be found in a topological space style so that means that 
looking for our clothing sets. The first one is phi. The same applies to x. X is here and x is here, the full set. So that means this is also clearly open. We have a being open and a being closed at the same time. So it is clearly open. We have c being open, but it is not closed. So that means c is only open. It's not clearly open. Then when you come here, we have a c being open and it's not closed. So that means it's just open. It's not clearly open. Then we have b c being open and b c being closed as well. So that means it is clear open or clipping. So um our clipping sets are phi, x, a e, and b c. Okay, so that's it. So it's very simple, okay. If you understand what open sets are, what closed sets are, you can easily find for your clipping sets. Okay, so we have some few terms here. In every topological space, both x and phi are clipping, okay. So you can see that our clipping set, you're having phi and x. So in every topological space, you realize that they will be clipping. Then in a discrete space, all the subsets of x are clipping. And in an indiscrete space, the only clipping subsets are x and phi. Okay. So in our next video, all the terms that we talked about. So we talked about nine terms here. Three under open sets, three under closed sets, and three under the clipping sets so we will prove them okay and explain them so that the understanding becomes clearer so that will be in our lesson four in our next video so take note of that so take care and i hope you understood everything so i wish you all the best and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel okay so stay safe